Surface preparation is the key to a quality and successful finish. Wash the boat with high pressure water blast. Remove any existing anti-fouling paints to the solid underlining epoxy barrier coat or to the base gel coat surface. Degree of preparation is based on the overall condition of the existing barrier epoxy. Thoroughly sand the surface with an orbital sander using 36 to 40 grit sanding discs to remove old coatings. Finish off sanding with 60 to 80 grit sandpaper to the point where the hull is smooth. Trines and water lines are critical areas and special care should be taken to ensure that those areas in particular are properly prepared. Thoroughly sand the surface with 80 grit up to 220 grit sandpaper to the point where no glaze or shine is visible. For best performance or high performance hulls, the smoother the surface, the better. Anti-fouling paints are toxic. It is important to protect yourself and the environment while undertaking removal of previous bottom coatings. Proper clothing such as disposable paper suits, goggles, a charcoal filter mask, a balaclava cotton hood, and good quality dishwashing or chemical resistant disposable gloves are necessary. Protect the ground where you are working so that you can contain and collect the residual paint dust and dispose of it according to local regulations. All surfaces must be washed to be free of dust, salt, dirt, oil, and grease. Use compressed air to remove residual dust. Protect the vessel from moisture and rain and check the weather forecast. Prior to applying any paint, you should protect all areas not to be coated. Apply a good quality masking tape or fine line for the water line and boot top. You will need a pneumatic airless spray pump, 30 to 1 ratio or larger, two paint mixers, clean new polyethylene or steel mixing containers, 4 inch solvent resistant phenolic core foam rollers, roller pans, thinner and cleanup solvent, disposable solvent resistant gloves, face protection and mask, a respirator, and wet film gauge. Cpoxy 73 is supplied in 2 gallon and 10 gallon kits. Total primer requirement for two coats is usually one gallon per 10 feet of length. Mix part A and part B together for five to seven minutes until smooth and homogenous. Mix equal parts by volume of part A and part B. Using the drill and mixer, thoroughly mix components. If a thinner is utilized, a maximum of 20% thinner based on total mix volume of A and B should be added. If a thinner is used, an induction time of 10 minutes is required after thinner is introduced. If that is the case, allow induction time after thinner is mixed. Mix with a rotary mixer just prior to the start of spraying. Use the 30 to 1 airless spray pump. Spray tip should be 0 .414, 0 .417, 0 .514, or 0 .517. Pressure should be 2800 to 3000 PSI to eliminate fingering. Apply one coat of Cpoxy 73 anti-corrosive primer to the hull by airless spray. Check wet film thickness gauge to ensure proper thickness. Allow to cure overnight. The next morning, apply another coat of Cpoxy 73 using final desired hull color. Follow the same procedure and apply wet film thickness. Allow the second coat of Cpoxy 73 to dry to a very firm thumbprint stage, where you can barely leave a thumbprint with 20 to 25 PSI of pressure, usually four to six hours at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Apply one coat of C-Speed V10 X Ultra Clear with an airless sprayer, HV LP gun with a pressure pot, or by roller. One coat should be applied at five to six mils. For best results and a glass finish, the best method is spray. For airless, the tip should be a Graco FFLP, fine finish, low pressure type. Size 0 0.308 or 0 0.310. Tip size for HVLP should be 1.8 to 2.0 millimeter. The mix ratio for C-Speed V10 Ultra Clear is one part A to four parts B by volume. Kits are all pre-measured for ease of use. Mix the part B base component separately with a high-speed rotary mixer attachment for two to three minutes. Keep the mixer blades submerged to prevent air entrainment. Lightly mix part A can by hand, then pour the part A into the part B while mixing. Mix two to three minutes. Allow seven to eight minutes induction time prior to spraying or rolling. Do not thin C-Speed V10X Ultra Clear. Measure thickness with a wet film gauge. The necessary thickness in total should be five to six mils wet film thickness. Once the C-Speed is cured for 24 hours or is sufficiently hard enough not to be damaged, the pads and blocks may be moved. Vessel may be placed into the water no sooner than 24 hours after the coating. C-Speed has a proven longevity of 10 or more years, which is a highly cost-effective alternative to a conventional non-toxic anti-fouling paint that only lasts one to five years. Directions for applying C-Speed to steel and aluminum hulls is available at c-speed.com. Visit c-speed.com or by calling 844-C-SPEED for product ordering and information.